Hi, this is our saying today. I would like to share the probability distribution in SPSS. In this tutorial, I will use binomial Poisson and normal distributions as an example. Let's first try for binomial distribution. Now, let's say x follow binomial distribution with six independent trials and probability 0.2. If let's say we are asked to find probability when x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on, so what can we do here is first input the value of x that we did. So under the variable view here, we can give a name of x with 0 decimals. So we need 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then after that, go to transform, compute variable. Then under target variable here, we can give any name of the output that we like. So we can type probability or probability distribution or just simply PDF, short form probability density function. We have to bear in mind that we cannot put any space here, otherwise we'll result an error. So look for probability density function binomial. Then we select. Okay, we have three question marks here. The first one is the one. So it's the variable. Then we input. The second question mark is the n. So number of trials that we have, six. And the last one is the probability, means that the success rate, 0 0.2. Then OK. So the probability already computed. So if let's say we want to increase the decimals, we can go to variable view and increase accordingly. So let's say we are asked to find the cumulative distribution, also go to transform, compute variable. Okay, we can simply change P to C. Let's say we worry any error arises, then we just delete, then we look for CDF binomial then we select okay as we can see change from p to c already okay also the first question mark is the one then second number of trial six and then the last one 0 0.2 okay also we can increase the decimal places we have to bear in mind that the numbers here or the probability here actually sum is the sum up to the number that indicated here means that they are respective number so let's say the cdf for this row is the probability that sum up to zero and for this one is sum up to one so means that we take this number plus this number we will have this number and we take the sum of this three and we will obtain this now let's do the same thing for poisson distribution so for poisson distribution we are asked to find probability and cumulative distribution then for x 0 to 6 so with means equal to 2 lambda equal to 2 Okay, the latest two. So transform compute variable. Okay, change to PDF. This one is now for Poisson distribution. So we look for PDF Poisson. Poisson. Then we select. So we have one. And mean so quantity and mean 2 mean is the lambda so okay then we done okay can increase the decimal places okay now to for cumulative change P to C P to C then okay then we done. Okay, now let's try for normal distribution. For the normal distribution, so we are asked to find the cumulative distribution for the value as all this. 
Okay, so we just type accordingly. So delete this two. So we one three, then three point five, four. 4.5 and so on. If let's say we lazy to type one by one, so we can make use of Excel. So what we need is three, then followed by 3.5, and increase 0 0.5 for each. So we just drag until we have 7.5. After that, we just copy and paste to SPS. So remember to change to decimal one decimal. Okay. So we first find the cumulative distribution. So transform, co compute variable, look for CTF, then look for normal distribution. Normal. Select. Okay, for the first one is the quant. Okay, before that, remember to write the name CTF. Okay, the first one, quant. Okay, second is the mean, means that the mean, 6. The last one is the standard deviation, standard deviation 1.2. 1.2, then OK. So the probability already computed. Okay, we can change the number of decimal places according to our preference. Okay, we can see here 6 is 0 0.5. Okay, because the mean is 6, so the when x equal to 6, we should have 0 0.5. Okay, so the next one is to find x when p, okay, are given all this. So what we need here is, we are given the probability, probability, and ask for x. So probability, leave it to decimal places. So 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Then transform, compute variable. Now we should look for inverse. Since we are asked to find the inverse function. Inverse. So inverse df, normal, select. So the first one, the probability stated here, probability. And followed by mean. Mean is 6 and standard deviation 1.2. Okay. Then the, the value of x already obtained here. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.